and welcome to this week's video. This week's video I'm going to answer a question and give you tips that I frequently get asked and this question is how do you save money for travel? So today's video I'm going to teach you my ways that I save money to travel so that you guys can save your money to travel as well. The first thing that I did and I suggest is to get a job. It is really hard to save money if you're not getting any income at all. You need to get a job, get two jobs if you have to. If traveling is something that you really, really want to do, you're going to make it happen and you need to get a job. There's, You can't say, oh, I really want to travel, I really want the money and not have a job. You have to save, you have to get a job, you have to work for that money because in the end you'll be happy that you're spending your money on something that you really want to do. So that's my first tip and trick, get a job. My second tip and trick is open up a savings account. What I do is every other paycheck I put money into a savings account so I can save that money while I'm also making money to spend. So half of my money I'm spending on things that I need, half of my money I'm going it's going straight to that savings account so I can use for travel or you know down the road when maybe I get married or get a new house or something like that. So I'm saving my money just as much as I am also spending it just so I can have um, you know a better hold on my money and know what it's going towards and save for something that I actually want to do. It's as simple as that. And that goes into my third tip and trick. Don't throw away your dollar bills and your coins. Those things can add up a lot over time. I have my cute little piggy bank that I sit on my desk and every single time I get a dollar bill or I get change or I find change on the ground, I pick it up, I put it in my piggy bank and I save that. I have been able to make over $300 one time with saving up coins and dollars within just a year. You don't realize how much you're throwing away when you're not using those dollar bills or just throwing away that change. You can save those ch that change until the end of the year, roll it up and then put it in your savings account and voila, that's extra money that you didn't think that you had. Always put your dollar bills and your coins inside a piggy bank, a jar, or anything that is going to keep it away from you spending it. My fourth tip and trick is sell stuff that you're not using anymore. If you've read a book a million times and you know you're not going to read it anymore, take it to half price books and sell it or take it to a yard sale and sell it. And all those clothes that are in your closet that you're looking at and you're thinking, mm, maybe I might wear this if I go to this or I might wear this if I go to this and you're like, I just can't throw it out at this time. That's not a good rule. My rule is always if I haven't worn it within a year, then I'm going to sell it at a Plato's Closet, Clothes Mentor, a yard sale, or maybe sell it to one of my friends because you may have worn this thing a million times, but your friends haven't, so your friends might find your clothes brand new. So if you have other friends that maybe need new clothes, ask them. Sell your clothes and go through your whole closet. I mean, there's really no point in keeping all that, so you might as well give it to someone that needs it and is willing to buy it. So pack up all that stuff, go through your closet, and go through your bookshelves. If you don't read the book, if you don't use that clothing, toss it out, sell it, just get rid of it for some kind of income. A dollar is better than sitting in your closet doing nothing. And my last tip and trick is cut your spending. You do not need to go to Starbucks every single day of the week. It is not needed. It, that is a luxury. And if you're going to Starbucks every single day, that's great. I'm glad that you can afford that and you're able to do that for yourself. But if you're constantly talking about how you can't save money for travel, yet you're spending money on Starbucks or that cute extra dress every single week, that stuff adds up. I heard once that someone quit smoking and for the whole year they put that money, every single carton of smokes, they would put the money in a jar and they ended up with like 2500 at the end of the year. The math may be off, but still, that's a ton of money and that's like a whole trip almost. Like You could easily go to somewhere in South America for that much money. so. Why would you, you know, spend all that money on something that's really a luxury? You don't really need it. It's not a necessity. 
you just have no room to complain about not being able to save money if you're constantly spending on stuff that you don't need. So that, this is more of like a priority thing. You need to sort out your priorities, say, okay, do I really need this dress? Do I really need this Starbucks coffee today? You know, is it okay if I sit down on this one Friday night of drinking? Yes, it is okay because in the end, you're gonna be able to travel. You're gonna go to these amazing places that other people aren't going to because they're spending their money on stuff that they really don't need. Just think about priorities, think about what you need and what you don't need, and cut your spending as much as you can. So, that is my last tip. Cut your spending and look at all your priorities and how you're spending your money. So those are my tips and tricks this week. That is how I save my money. People always ask me this, here are my answers. I hope this helps at least one of you out. And you know, comment down below if you know anything that I didn't mention that maybe is a good tip and trick. I'm always looking for other ways to save money. So comment down below if I need to know anything else or you want to tell anybody else another trick. And I will see you guys next video. Happy travels!